A jazz pianist falls for an aspiring actress in Los Angeles. As success mounts, they are faced with decisions that begin to put a strain on their love affair, and the dreams they work so hard to maintain in each other threaten to rip them apart. Hey everybody, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Gino. Today we're going to be talking about Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone's new musical, La La Land. If I could describe La La Land to you in the simplest terms, it would be that this is an old Hollywood musical set in modern times. The look and feel of the entire film screams, I'm a classic movie, even though our characters are surrounded by modern cars, phones, etc. This is a pretty fun mix of old and new that works really well. I really like both Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling together in this. As a bit of a disclaimer, I am not the biggest fan of Stone, but I am always happy to admit when I think she's good in something. I feel that they are really good as a quote-unquote movie couple, which they should be given that this is the third time they have been one. For a lot of the movie, they just seem to be having a lot of fun with the roles. For the few times that aren't so fun, they handle those parts great as well. While I can't say I loved all the songs in the movie, the ones that are good are really good. There is a song near the end of the movie, the one that played during the first trailer, that will hit that part of you that believes if you work hard enough, you can accomplish anything. Also, there is another melody that keeps reoccurring during the movie and eventually leads to the final song of the film, and that one will hit you right in the heart. While I won't be talking about the ending with specific details, I do need to talk about it a little bit, so this is a bit of a spoiler warning. I think the ending of the movie might turn some people off. The reason for this is that it's not the Hollywood happy ending that you might expect or even feel like you've earned. The end is a little bittersweet, but for me it made a lot of sense. This movie wants to feel like an old Hollywood film, and with the ending it provides, I felt that it accomplished this. Let me put it to you like this, if Casablanca had the same Hollywood happy ending and didn't make the ballsy choice that it made, would it be the classic that it is today? This is one of those movies that no matter what kind of a mood you are in going into it, it will still put a smile on your face. Believe me, I know. The music is good, the performances are great, and put them together and this movie is a pleasure to watch. But remember, it's only just one guy's opinion.